Hello everyone and welcome back to the next episode in our series on additive technologies. Today we'll be taking a look at additive manufacturing in metal. The parts that you see today were built with one of two technologies, either direct metal laser centering or electron beam melting. I won't go into too much detail regarding the differences between the two, but as the names imply, one utilizes a laser while the other one utilizes an electron beam. Both of these technologies are absolutely revolutionary as they allow for production grade metal parts to be manufactured additively, which, as you're about to see, opens up a whole new world in product development. As always, thank you very much Growit for hosting and sponsoring my videos. Growit has the capability to do anything that you see in my videos. So, rather than investing in these extremely expensive technologies and training your engineers to operate and maintain the machines, simply submit your files to Growit and they'll place them on the next available machine for you. Alright you guys, let's take a look at additive manufacturing in metal. Typically, when you're manufacturing something out of metal, you're either cutting or you're pouring. That is, you're either using a CNC machine to cut your part, or you're using a mold to pour your part. Both of these processes have limitations that additive technologies have overcome. Take for example this chess piece. It's a fairly small part with an intricate staircase running up the middle. While this part is fairly complex, there's nothing preventing it from being manufactured with traditional methods. Now take a look at this part. This is the exact same piece, but it has been grown as one part with that intricate staircase inside. This would be extremely difficult to pour or to cut, but by growing the part one layer at a time, there's nothing to stop us from manufacturing that staircase within the part. If you're confused with regard to why additive technologies allow for traditionally unmakeable parts like this, go back and watch my first episode for a more detailed explanation. But meanwhile, let's take a look at a practical application. This part is the blade for a turbine. Take note of these holes right here. These are tiny little air chambers which go through this curved feature here and connect up here. Here you're looking at the mold for a golf ball and right here you see some channels. These channels conform to the shape of the mold. Notice the unique structure of these parts. On the left you see a lattice or honeycomb structure. Building parts with this unique structure opens up a few opportunities. Perhaps the most obvious is weight. By building a part with this structure, you can acquire an extremely powerful strength to weight ratio, which Growit is witnessing a constantly increasing demand for in aerospace and high performance racing applications, but also in the medical field. Growit is building replacement bones that utilize a similar structure. This allows for the surrounding bone from the body to actually grow into the replacement, so doctors can actually take an MRI of an injured body and then design and grow a custom replacement specifically for that patient. Finally, let's talk about cost. Is it cost effective for you to send your part to grow it and have them manufacture it versus using a more traditional method such as a CNC shop? Well, when you're thinking about this, First, I suggest just sending it. Get yourself a quote, establish a dialogue, you'll get a good idea for pricing. Doesn't hurt to do that. But next, think about complexity and think about volume. The more complex your part is, the higher the probability that you're gonna get a better price from Grow It versus a CNC shop. Because if it's very complex, a CNC shop, they have to spend quite a great deal of time setting up all the tooling and cutting that part. Meanwhile, over at Grow It, we're simply taking that part, putting it into the software, and hitting go. We come back the next day and there's your part. On the other hand, if it's a very simple part to CNC machine, then yes, it's going to be more cost effective, probably, to have it CNC'd. Now, the next thing is volume. The material is quite expensive, so if it's a very volume heavy part, it might still be more cost effective to use a traditional method. Again though, I suggest sending your part to grow it, They'll get you a price within a few hours usually and uh, take it from there. There's a variety of material options and again these are production grade parts so they can be finished and polished just like any other part. 
These aren't simply prototypes like some of the other additive technologies. So, as always, thank you so much for watching, you guys. Please help me by sending this link to all of your coworkers, friends, and family. Pass the message on youtube.com slash additive technologies. You can also find the videos on Grow It's website, www.growit3d.com. Uh, please pass the link on by doing that. You help me to keep making these videos, and there's a lot more that I want to talk about. So thank you so much, you guys, and I will see you guys next time.